Today we're going to bake a nice tipsy tart for Granny's birthday on Friday. We need flour, butter, bicarbonate of soda, baking powder. We put cherries and dates in it. We can put some nuts in it, sugar and eggs. We will grease the dish that we're going to put in. This is generally the size dish that I use. You can have a longer oblong one, whatever you would like, a round one. No hard and fast rules, but it makes quite a nice size. Firstly, we get two tablespoons of butter, and to that we're going to beat in two cups of sugar, which is 250 milliliters of sugar that we are going to beat that. In the meantime, I've already chopped the dates and the nuts and the cherries and the bicarb in hot water is going to be poured over that and allow it to cool and then I will be adding the um, dry ingredients and the eggs and just mixing it up, pouring it into my dish and then it's ready to bake um, and once it's baked, we, during that time we will be making the syrup and as soon as it comes out of the oven when it's ready we will pour this hot syrup over it and in the syrup uh, we have a little bit of brandy that goes in or a little bit of sherry that goes in and it's just water and sugar boiled up together and poured over the cake as soon as it comes out the oven and then it can be served cut into little squares or taken out with a spoon with a nice dollop of cream or ice cream as a pudding. In this bowl I have mixed two cups of flour, a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder and sifted it. In this bowl, I put the chopped dates, the nuts, the cherries, a teaspoon of bicarb in here, and I'm going to pour in the uh, water, the hot water, and just let that cool in the meantime. That is all ready. Now I'm going to go over here and cream the margarine, the butter, together with the sugar until nice and creamy. Then I'm going to add the eggs, make it even more creamy, and then the dry ingredients will go in alternatively together with the wet mixture and the fruit until it's all blended just carefully together. Prior to starting my baking, I turned my oven on to 180 degrees, 350 Fahrenheit or Mark 4 gas. My oven is now ready and I'm going to alternatively Blend in the flour with the uh, date mixture until it's all gently mixed up and then I'm going to pour it into our baking pan ready to put into the oven. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then have to turn it on just gently at a slow speed, not high speed, just to blend it all with the flour. Already mixed. Just pouring the mixture into my greased pan. Mm, this is going to be delicious. It's light and fluffy. One of Granny's favourite dishes. Can be used as a pudding or as cake. And so simple to make. Let's not waste any ingredients. Try and get it all out. Let it spread evenly into. That is what it looks like. Now it will just rise into a lovely dark brown pudding or cake. The cake is now going into the hot oven, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And it will be baked for 35 minutes. I will check it. If it's a little bit underdone, we'll keep it longer. Otherwise, we'll be fine. We'll have the sauce ready, which we'll pour over the hot pudding or cake as it comes out the oven. Mm -hmm. I'm making the syrup for the cake. So as soon as it comes out, we're going to pour over it. I've got a tablespoon of butter. I've got one teaspoon of vanilla essence. I have got a pinch of salt, a pinch of 
salt, uh, half a cup of half a cup of sugar, a cup of water, half a cup of sugar, and one cup of water. And then I'm just going to place it in the microwave to to melt all together. You can do it on a pot on top of the stove if you so wish. And I have got a little bit of ginger brandy that I'm going to use. You can use normal brandy or sherry. And I am going to put in a quarter cup. I'm just going to make it taste nice. I'm just going to place it in the microwave to melt and cook. Or on top of the stove in a pot if you wish. Cake was taken out of the oven and uh, pierced it with a knife all over. So now I'm going to pour the hot sauce over the cake and it should all soak through. Just doing it slowly with a spoon. This is what makes it nice and moist and it all soaks in. And then you just leave it to cool. Just go right through the cake to keep it moist.